Hello and welcome you all to our next interesting topic of our database testing series. In our YouTube channel, we share videos on manual testing, automation testing and RPA etc. You can watch our more videos on the same channel. So let's continue our topic today. Today's topic is data integrity testing. So let's get started. What is mean by data integrity then? Data integrity is the overall accuracy, completeness and consistency of the data. This is one of the main point to be considered while you are doing database testing. Data integrity testing. What is mean by this? It verifies in the database whether it is accurate and functions as per the requirement. It is used to validate whether data is not modified and corrupted unexpectedly while accessing the database. And these tests are done on regularly basis to ensure stored data is unchanged and to search new bugs which may alter the files present in the database. So because of this data integrity testing is very much important. Now there are three types of data integrity test. First one is entity integrity. Each row of table consists of non-null primary key where each should be specific and the test may be attained by defining duplicate or null values in the test data. Second type is domain integrity. In this integrity, uh, each set of values checks and so column falls with a specific permissible range. This testing may be achieved by using null, default and invalid values. Third type of integrity test is referential integrity. It checks the relationship between foreign key and primary key uh, for multiple tables. This test is achieved by eliminating parent or child rows in the table. While doing database te integrity testing, there are few constraints which to be followed. So these are as below. Like first one is not null constraint. It prevents null values from being entered into the column. Then second one is unique. You, if you give unique constraint, then it should ensure that unique value set of columns are not null and they are unique. Third one is primary key. Combination of not null and unique is primary key constraint. Uniquely identified in each row. Then check constraint. It specifies the value allows in one or more columns of every row and table. Foreign key constraint. Uniquely identifies a row record in another table. Default. Set default value to column when no value is specified. We'll see all these contents practically in our next table. Tables, how we are applying these con constraints to our tables. So now I have two tables, one courses table and one is student table. So let's see what courses table contains. Courses table contains course ID, course name and fees. These, these are their data types, integer, varchar and integer. So course ID is primary key means it should be unique and it should allow it should not allow null values so course name is unique so it uh, it should not allow duplicate values and fee is fee should be between 100 to 500 dollars so if you are entering fees below 100 or above 500 dollars it should not allow you to enter the value so this is our course table now second table is our student table which is a child table of course table because uh, we have here uh, course id which is foreign key foreign key means it should be primary key of some other table some parent table so this is our child table of course table so what let's see now what student table contains it contains uh, student id student name age date of joining date of completion and course id so here uh, in this table student id is our primary key means it should not allow you to enter null values and it should be unique means it should not allow you to enter duplicate values means your student uh, two students cannot have same id here then student name should not be null it should be always some value should be entered in student's name then age should be 15 to 30 so means you cannot uh, go below for uh, 15 and you cannot enter above 30 so these are few constraints which are applying here on student table now course id course id is foreign key foreign key constraint means what it should be primary key of some other table so 
वेन एंड इफ फॉरेन की इज देयर मीन्स दैट डेटा दिस कोर्स आई डी शुड बी अवेलेबल इन योर कोर्सेज टेबल मीन्स सपोज यू आर एंटरिंग यू वन जीरो वन वन जीरो टू वन जीरो थ्री कोर्स आई डी टू योर कोर्स टेबल एंड यू आर एंटरिंग कोर्स इन स्टूडेंट्स टेबल यू आर योर स्टूडेंट्स आर एनरोल फॉर वन जीरो फोर कोर्स आई डी सो दिस शुड नॉट बी पॉसिबल योर कोर्स आई डी शुड बी मैंशन हियर इन कोर्स टेबल सो दैट विल बिकम योर फॉरन की so these are two table now let's see how we can write the test cases of data integrity testing these are the test cases which you can write in data integrity test, uh, testing so i have written it for a first table courses table uh, you can write for both of the table and i will just mention how to test the foreign key constraint i am not writing here for student table so let's see the first test case our title is check the integrity in course table the integrity in the courses table we saw there are three constraints are applied primary key unique and between 100 to 500 dollars so uh, first one is validate your course id your course id is primary key so how to write the test case for course id primary key means what it should not allow you null values and it should allow you unique values only so first one will insert positive test scenarios test scenarios will insert all the positive values so insert into the course value 11 is the course id then course name and uh, fees so that should be expected result should be the positive scenarios and then only you move to negative scenarios so we have written positive scenarios it should be our expectation is it should go success so our next will write negative scenarios that is insert into course value values 11 ruby and 370 so this is 11 we are duplicating so it should not allow it should go fail this test case should fail then you can write one more test case that uh, that contains not null so uh, we can write which value contains null if we simply don't insert anything here and then it should not allow it should not allow you to success this test case so these this is we validating course id now second one is validate course name course name is unique constraint having unique constraint so first one is positive scenarios insert into the course values 12 python and 350 as 11 is given so 12 will be the unique number and this will be success and third one is uh, so and third one is insert into the values 13 python and 350 so python we have given course name common duplicate so it should not allow you to uh, enter the value since it's a unique key so here if you have written ruby or some other um, course name java then it will go, go success so third one is validate the fees fees have a validation of between 100 to 500 dollar so there will be few test cases like this you are entering value uh, you are entering value below the 100 you are entering value above the 500 and you are entering value between the 500 the, these will be the few test cases so these i have written here and other than that everything will go fail so this will be pass this second test case is between 100 to 500 so this also will go pass and then uh, this is below uh, below 100 this fees so it will go fail and this will be above 500 so it will go fail so this by by seeing this this is for courses table like this you can write all the test cases for student table let's let's discuss all these test cases so first one is student id so this is primary key so primary key means what it should not null and it should be unique 
so you can write positive test cases including all the scenarios satisfying to your requirement and then you can write negative you can give a uh, blank to your uh, id or you can give uh, then you can duplicate it and check the primary key we have seen it in our course table since then the student name is not null then you can uh, provide one test case is having uh, null value to student name column and then one you can give a positive scenario as proper student name so age age is between 15 to 30 years so you can write three four test scenarios uh, boundary value analysis technique you have to use here so fif below 15 above 30 and between one value you take and write three to four test cases for this age age scenario then last one is foreign uh, foreign key foreign key means it should be available in your um, it should be primary key to your parent table so here it is course id so you can write one scenario like this uh, you if you are writing course uh, in courses table you have given 101 102 like this course uh, course id first one you mention whatever is available course id you mention here and write the positive scenarios and then negative scenario will be your id is not mentioned in course table and check whether it is allow you to write in the database or not so these are the test cases you can uh, use to uh, test your database now let's see how to execute these test cases in our sql so we have uh, installed mysql so we'll uh, create tables there and we'll execute this course table test cases uh, in mysql let's see okay so i am using new schema schema here this will execute then if there is a student or courses table is there will drop out we'll drop this okay because and then we'll create new courses table now we have been created this course table and execute this query so see here table courses has been created so now we'll simply start putting our test cases here is what i have just copy pasted all the lines from our test cases sheet so select star from course and then we'll insert our first test case which is validation of your course id so see this test case it should get success so first query will execute it should go success then this table has been created this is where it is showing and then first row insert into course values this this got succeeded so next one our is duplicate value that should not get succeed so that case test case should fail so see this test case has been failed so whatever test cases we have written those are correct now third is keep empty because uh, primary key should not support no, null values so let's see whether it supports or not so this one it is some error has been thrown column co co count does not match so this first one um, courses id we have kept empty so that is error has been thrown so this is our fourth validate course name this is our positive test case insert into course and this should get success succeeded so see 
सो पायथन सक्सेसफुली क्रिएटेड एंड रिटर्न पायथन मध्य सो नाउ ड्युप्लिकेट वैल्यू वी आर चेकिंग दिस इज दिस इज एरर ड्युप्लिकेट एंट्री पायथन सो वॉट एवर टेस्ट केसेस वी हैव रिटर्न दोज आर करेक्ट देन वैलिडेट फीस चेक फॉर validate fees it is correct then enter insert into course value 150 this will go correct and then this 30 will go wrong because it is less than 100 yes it is showing error And seven thousand also will go wrong because that is also above the five hundred. So, like this, you have to execute all the test cases uh, for all the constraints. So that's it for today. Integrity testing and database testing. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and share it to your friends and family and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming and interesting videos. so stay tuned stay connected happy testing bye bye